Hi there, welcome to CMC. Today we'll be looking at this 2015 Ford Transit finished in grey. I'll be doing a little walk around of the vehicle today, showing you all the key features, details and cosmetics, and I'll point out anything over and above general wear and tear. First of all, we'll start out with the front end of the vehicle. First of all, showing you this little problem area. A little bit of a dent just there. I'll scan across the rest of the bonnet. We'll see we've got a few signs of general wear. A little bit of a scratch just here. Well, on the bottom of the bonnet there, we do have a few dings present. I'll just try and show you the size of those quickly. Yeah. And as I scan across the rest, we'll come across our next problem. Bit of missing paint and a ding there. Not too significant. Move down to the front of the vehicle now, showing you those lovely clear headlights. Got no scratching or cracking in those. And I can say the same for the front grille pieces, just there. And up there, the underside of the vehicle, looking to be in good condition. Take you around to the front passenger side of the vehicle now, showing you we do have a few light scuffs just at the front of the arch there. And a bit of a ding on the arch. We also have some scratches just above that ding there. Show you there. Rest of the arch though, looking really nice. This front wheel here, the hubcap has quite a bit of damage but that can always be replaced. Not an expensive part. Move down the side of the vehicle now. We do have a bit of a scratch just, just there. Rest of the door down there looking pretty good. As we come to the door handle, we do see a few scratches just along there, moving over to the sliding door as well. And a few marks just going up here. I'll show you the size of those. Moving on to the sliding door now, we also have a few marks just up here and down there. And obviously those scratches carrying on from before. However, uh, the rest of the door looking to be in good condition. I'll open up that door for you now and show you the inside. First of all, showing you that bulkhead just there. Clearly we've got some signs of use, but no significant damage, such as dents or missing pieces. Got the heavy load liner on the floor there, which looks to be in a good condition. I'll close that up for you. And I'll move over to this rear side panel. You'll see we've got no significant damage to talk about there. That rear arch looking really nice. And that rear hubcap, once again, we've got quite a few signs of damage and curbing but that can be replaced. Moving to the rear side of the vehicle now. We've got those rear tail lights, got no scratching or cracking in those. And moving on to the face of the rear doors. Got a few signs of wear, a few small scratches here and there. One just there to see for you. We've got a few dings to talk about in the back here. One being down there, the rest of that driver's side door there, the next ding just being there. I'll show you the inside of the van now, opening those doors. As you can see, passenger side door here, we've got some marks and dents. I'll show you some of those for size just there for you. And a bit of a ding just along here. And the driver's side door there, much like the other side, a few dings, a few marks. Show you for size just there and along here. We do have some roof lighting in the back of this van whenever you open the back doors. The arch is there, clearly showing some signs of use. But once again, that load liner on the floor there looking to be in good condition. Close up those doors for you now. Right side tail light, looking also to be in good condition. Make our way down the driver's side of the vehicle now. We do not have a sliding door on this side. We'll look at that wheel arch, looking to be in good condition. Once again, that wheel showing some damage on the hubcap. Moving down the side of the vehicle now, we will encounter a few marks such as this and this. 
move down to the driver's side door now. A few dings just under the handle, just there for you. And just down there. However, the rest is the side of the door. We've got no car park dings, which is nice to see. That front arch there, also looking really nice. We do have a bit of paint coming off just at the front of the door there. And that front wheel, once again, the hubcap showing some damage. As you can see, take you to the inside of the vehicle now. As you can see on that front seat there, we've got no significant creasing, although we do have a small tear just up there, but nothing too significant. The trim is all firmly in place. This driver's side door card, got no significant scratching around the switches there or the handle. We do have some small marks, but nothing significant. Passenger side looking to be in good condition. Got a few marks here and there, but nothing significant once again. Seats are in good condition in this vehicle. We'll get inside now. Start up the engine and show you the infotainment system. Do have a manual gearbox in this vehicle. As you can see, we have 104,000 miles on the clock in here. I'll show you that infotainment system now. Obviously, you've got your CD just there. We've got nothing in there at the moment. You've got your radio there, which includes FM and your AM. As you can see, your AUX connectivity there and your hands-free phone support, as well as some system settings in the menu just down here. You can connect your phone via Bluetooth. If you have any further questions or inquiries on this vehicle, please do feel free to get in touch. And thank you very much for watching.